lot of fun <laughs> spawning Let's in the top left location for my insanity their academy player a very smart guy by the way did i mention he's got an awesome good looking afro it is j power from netherlands playing blue protoss pieces and uh, his opponent is going to be snitchables from nuit blanche the red zerg player from norway uh, if i remember correctly uh, and he has to be one of the top players in Norway as well because if I if you check his results um, He pretty much was the finalist of uh, a couple of uh, Norwegian events and he battled against Targa in the finals every single time and every single time he lost truth be told but I mean come on if there is on if you have only Targa that's better than you at a competition That kind of says something about your ability as a player doesn't it? I think it does, man. I'm, I'm having a battle with my laptop because apparently now my <laughs> Wi-Fi has dropped, but somehow I still have internet on my computer. Obviously, because it's cable, but magic. This is this is a new thing to me. Not losing internet everywhere <laughs> is, a, is a marvelous thing. So, wow. All right, so we have a 14 pool here from Snitchables, and uh, J Power is going to try the best that he can to delay this hatchery. If he, if he could force out an overlord. Uh, out of Snitchables, that would be nice. And look, Snitchables trying to make think J Power make J Power think that he's going to be taking another base, but J Power not falling from it. And Snitchables being greedy, still not still not queuing up that Overlord. And this is going to cost him so much uh, because it's going to either delay his queen, because uh, if J Power lets that pylon finish, which he can, because he's got a forge finishing right now. You know, you um, can even block it for longer here. You yeah, you can if you cancel and, and keep blocking. This is such a good work from J Power, and I I don't really I don't really think. Oh, he has built an overlord. Excuse me. He my bad. he built it very late. When you were initially saying it was still late because okay. he built his queen, but he had to double extract a trick to get his uh, lings out. Oh, which, all right, I missed that. But um, you know, he, I guess it's the best way to do it. He gets the lings out asap, I suppose. So mm. it uh, gets the job done. But you weren't wrong in saying his overlord was definitely a little bit late. Because you know, sometimes you never know when the when the Protoss player is going to be like extremely annoying, and let that pylon finish, which will delay your expansion even more. Um, and if you don't queue queue that Overlord up straight away, if you see he's really intent on blocking that natural, then uh, you can be a little bit behind off of that. Uh, so uh, you know, every <laughs> every time I see that uh, Zerg player just being s oh, he actually gets the wings past here. Uh, and he will get them inside the main base as the well, cannon. Well, he's gonna. He'll surely lose one, right? The cannon. Yeah, he should. He should. should he's trying to reposition side. them. No, oh, wow, it, 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 it doesn't actually reach all the way up there. So this is going it's to be annoying. mildly problematic or annoying for J Power. Yeah, this is um, this is a little really annoying, but good control so far. Look at that, pulling both of his. Uh, Heard probes back and whoa, that one that that wasn't really his fault. Man. That was yeah. that was the probes AI going behind the minerals and being in an unsavable position. But this is good scouting for uh, snitchables. You know, mm -hmm. for you can stay in this base forever basically until the mothership core comes out, which is uh, you know pretty delayed because we uh, okay sorry the Cybernex core has finished, but we don't have warp gates. So what's J Power doing? He's got so much gas. He's uh, just not stopping anything. Don't... I don't know, actually. I, I think he wants to throw down. He wanted to throw down a very fast tech, but these zerglings kind of made that impossible. There's also an overlord in the natural base, which J Power is aware of. So there's really no way he can throw down a Robo or a Stargate or whatever he wanted uh, wanted to be doing until such a time that he gets rid of these links. So he's getting a stalker. Still no mothership core. So I really think you know, th if J Power had a plan here involving quick tech. This has just been thwarted because the timing is going to be so off if this was the case. Yeah, we see this uh, Zergling getting caught going down the ramp, and uh, we're actually going to see Slitchels lose an Overlord here. So finally, J Power rids his base of these units, and he throws down Twilight Council in the back of his main base. Now, yeah. you know, that's not going to be scouted here. But I think this it's is... coming down so much later than he wants it to. Look how much gas he's got banked up. Yeah, this is exactly what I what I thought was the case, that he wanted to uh, surprise the opponent with a quick tech, ideally building it before even getting the Mothership Core or any kind of gas unit out of his uh, warp gates. Um, and, you know, Snitchables, by sneaking those links inside, he just kind of made that impossible for him to do. But, at the same time, since... Uh, he did not see J Power throw anything down, neither with the links nor with the Overlord. He's going to get a little bit suspicious, and we can already see another Overlord heading inside the main base of J Power. Uh, he's taking a third base, J Power is, so that 
yeah, it's going to be a Dark Shrine, I thought it's going to be. Uh, he's going to rely on the DTs to do a lot of damage and most importantly keep the Zerg player occupied. Snitch Balls is going to see this Twilight Council most probably and see that it's not working. Uh, if JPAR wanted to trip his opponent out, he would queue up something really quickly. And then when the Old Lord dies, Council. he would cancel it. But yeah, Snitchables is probably going to know what is up just by s not seeing the this, Twilight working. This was this was like just a mistake, man. Like he should have had a Stalker in the side of his base, not mm -hmm. a Sentry. And now he throws down a Stargate. So I mean, double Stargate. So he's gonna go into a Sky Toss composition here. But this is so late to start suddenly going into Sky Toss. And I mean, considering the DTs are realistically not gonna do anything with Spore Crawlers yeah. already on the way up in three mineral lines. Like Snitchables you know, they're is useful a... throughout the game, but. For now, they're not going to do the damage he relies on them doing. Yeah, Snitchables is a smart guy, and look at this—he's already producing, uh, producing roaches here. Uh, so you know he'll go for the attack very, very quickly, I think. And he does find a proxy pylon over here as well as uh, Wardy is lagging for some reason. Yeah, I think yeah, I just lost him on the Skype as well. So uh, maybe finally uh, he lost uh, his internet. Uh, as the icon on his laptop was alerting him to. So what I was saying is, uh, if Snatchables goes for a quick attack right now, he might uh, do considerable damage to J-Power as he is skimping on units so much. So look at how low his minerals are. He's at 50 probes, that is true, but that third base really not at all saturated yet. And if he wants to be, wants to be getting units, I, um, He's on three gates, as far as I know, uh, without any void rays out. If Snatchables goes for it now, uh, then J Power might have a tough time defending. I mean, he's only ha he only has one cannon at his um, uh, at his third base here. The gates are only just now opening up, and uh, the Dark Shrine is finishing. Well, I guess the DTs could defend him. A little while, but since the lair is done, uh, all it takes for Snatchables is bring one overlord uh, with his army and morph that into an overseer. Uh, I wonder if Snatchables is catching on to the fact that J Power is not going ahead with the DTs. I mean, by now they should be entering the entering the bases, and since they're not, if I were Snatchables, I would try to gather additional information. He does know about the third base, however, so. Um, this is this is good on him. And look at this, he's uh, upon not seeing the DTs, he's he is immediately going uh, straight back to droning and getting a rather quick infestation pit. Maybe he thinks, you know, uh, his opponent is going to go uh, Colossus or something and he wants to get quick Vipers or something to to the facts, which is, you know, the normal transitioning uh, for the Zerg player. He is streaming in his links right now. He sees two Void Rays this quickly, and this has to set alarm bells off immediately. Hydrogen is going down. Double Evolution Chambers uh, are nearly finishing. And is he going to go for the push? It's a little bit too late, Snitchables. There are two Void Rays, Photon Overcharge, and a Cannon. Uh, it's not going to do that much right now. And the Void Ray count just keeps on rising. J Power not getting his uh, plus one air weapons yet, but he is getting additional cannons as he uh, as he saw that his opponent is a little bit aggressive towards him. Ooh, these orbs! Uh, look at this, uh, Snitchables, as the infestation pit has finished, immediately goes into swarm hosts. Uh, I hate to say it, but as a Zerg player, you know I don't like swarm host as a unit per se, but it's one of the most effective ways to combat double Stargate follow-ups off of any opening. Because if your opponent is going mass air, this is one of the uh, most effective ways that you can combat that. Because uh, this will get you the army uh, that you need to pressure your opponent. And he'll have to defend, he'll have to stay a little bit back. And meanwhile, you can later on you can uh, you can get uh, vipers to pull the air units into the hydras. You can even go in festers, which are really essential with those fungal growths uh, to try and wither down uh, the air army of the Protoss player. J Power pushing forward a little bit loses the probe, so no forward pylons will be built right now. And I don't I don't know if he no he's got zero scouting on his opponent, so he does not know. 
about the infestation. Actually, he knows about the infestation, but, I, but I'm not entirely sure he knows this is going to be swarm hosts. Uh, there's no way he could really tell for certain 100%. So, additional gateways being added on. Uh, still, nothing has been researched out of the Twilight Council and J-Power is just going to add on another base which will have to be cancelled promptly here. But he is getting the Fleet Beacon and a third sort of Stargate. And I'm interested to see if he continues with the Void Ray production and just tries to muscle his way through his opponents or if he's going to adjust his composition a little bit and uh, adds in the High Templars with uh, Storm and Zealots with Charge. No, he's going into Tempests immediately so yeah and now he sees the locusts so that's actually a very good decision by J Power as he will get uh, the range he will need to deal with the static defenses uh, but I don't I don't know snitchables is nearing max very 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 quickly and he does not have that many swarm hosts only four of those but the majority of his army is actually in Hydra uh, Hydras are not the best units to uh, combat Void Rays, but if J-Power is getting uh, Tempest, which considering that there are only four... Oh! Oh my god! This was a huge pickup! He gets the Mothership Core, prevents the last second recall for the Void Rays, and J-Power is losing, uh, uh, losing heavily here. Losing five Void Rays just because his Mothership Core was picked off and he was in a really bad position. These Void Rays will not be able to do too, too much now. They're caught between uh, a rock and a hard place, I have to say. Uh, J Power still getting more Tempests. Air Weapons level 2. He's got a fair number of them. Six Tempests. I think he should stop there, maybe. Uh, that's quite enough, and Tempests are very supply-heavy for what they're doing. Pathogen Glands is about to finish up for the Zerg player, as well as plus two missile attacks and carapace. Overall, Snitchable is not in, the, not, not in a very bad position, I don't think. Uh, if he, he only has one Infester, though. I mean, uh, it's not really ideal at all. <laughs> J-Power microing those Void Rays very very uh, intensely here but uh, the range of the queen is going to be enough to take that out and the second one as well there's nothing j-power can do about it so you know finally the void ray has been taken care of and there are no void rays on the field right now I'm really I'm really worried about j-power's uh, composition over here I mean he's got nothing on the ground And these Tempests, they're very, very, very slow. So Hydras with speed can actually pick those off. He's got a lot of Zealots, though. I, I'll grant him that. Albeit without charge. And uh, if the Zealots can, don't have charge, uh, they could be having trouble uh, reaching the Hydras in time and making contact in order to do damage. Uh, J-Power getting a fourth base as well. This should prompt uh, Snatchables to get a fifth one down here. Yes, he is sending a drone over, and he's uh, poised to take out the third base of J-Power at the same time. With how slow these Tempests are, and all the units are bunched up like this, nothing is protecting the third base. There is only one cannon. Hydras do a lot of damage overall to anything, basically. So this Nexus, if it gets targeted down, it could go down very, very, very quickly. J-Power, at the same time, is trying to defend his fourth base from being overrun by a second group of Hydras. And uh, we'll just uh, we'll just see the third base probably going down here if Snatchables decides to take that out. And yes, he is targeting that down. Will this prompt or uh, trigger a response by J-Power? Will he try to go for a full-on attack? He is getting carriers right now, trying to trying to max out on a pure air army here. Uh, I don't know. He just lost his third base. Uh, there are no gases at the fourth, which means he, he just now lost about 200 gas per minute worth of income. If you're going with a composition like this, you really need every single ounce of Vespine you can get. But these Tempests, man, they're going to take out the fourth base of Snitchables. No problem, I mean, there is nothing that can reach them. 
That being said, once those Hydras do get underneath, those Tempests will start falling down really fast. GG, cold.